A sharp bark cut through the bustling Shenzhen port. A police dog, heroically fulfilling his duty, alerted customs officers to a suspicious shipping container. Tension filled the air. What horrors lurked within? The pungent odor escaping the open door hinted at trouble. Before we embark on this captivating journey, we kindly invite you to show your support by engaging with our content. Please consider giving this video a thumbs up, subscribing to our channel, and leaving a thoughtful comment stating, I've subscribed. Additionally, if you find this story as inspiring as we do, don't forget to share it with your loved ones. Your support means the world to us. This wasn't just another day for the K-9 unit. While the dog saw it as a playful job rewarded with treats, the stakes were high. He might not have understood the gravity of thwarting contraband and weapons, but the officers did. They were meticulous, their suspicions heightened by over 15 containers lacking proper documentation. Smugglers, aware of the meticulous checks, hoped to exploit the chaos. Little did they know, these officers were seasoned veterans with numerous busts under their belt. Three figures, the core of the anti-smuggling unit, swiftly approached the flagged container. Months of experience honed their instincts, yet the initial containers yielded nothing but toys and phone cases. Honest paperwork errors seemed likely in the port's frenzy. Just as one officer predicted, the first three held harmless cargo, but the fourth container unfolded like a time-consuming puzzle, gripping them for months. It transcended routine, destined to become a global headline, embroiling the officers in a tangled web with an international crime ring. This wouldn't be just another day at the port. It would be a defining chapter in their fight against illegal trade. Container 5702 raised eyebrows. The listed origin hopped between three ports, one suspiciously crossed out. While the paperwork seemed legit and the container pristine, unlike the smugglers' usual beat-up disguises, something nagged. One official brushed it off. Time was tight, containers endless. But the police dog had a different plan. Ignoring commands, it planted itself before the container, tongue lolling, unwavering gaze fixated. Trained to recognize specific odors, its sit wasn't a mistake. The officials felt a tug of suspicion, though canine false alarms due to pungent food weren't unheard of. Still, the dog's adamant stance convinced them. Bolt cutters struggled against the rusty red doors. A groan, and they swung open, revealing bags filled with an odd coal-like substance. Touching it left black stains, reminiscent of charcoal, but then the smell hit, putrid, choking. It sent them reeling, even the dog momentarily stunned. This was no ordinary cargo. Sensing danger, they sealed the area and called in health inspectors. The investigation had just begun, and container 5B702 held the key to a potentially perilous secret. Customs officials had stumbled upon something far bigger than just contraband. Inside a container shipped across continents, a secret lay hidden. Not an object, but a unique living creature. The journey began over 7,000 miles away, in the depths of an African forest. Driven by poverty, a man embarked on a days-long pursuit of this elusive creature. Following nature's whispers, stripped bark and clawed ant nests, he finally located his prey. Traps were set, and five of these enigmatic animals were captured. At dawn, the man cautiously approached the net. Curled and vulnerable, the creatures revealed their remarkable features. Long, tapering tails blending into scaled backs and tiny, almost feline claws. But it was the glistening scales, coveted for their exotic beauty, that held the true value. Blinded by the promise of a better life, the man planned to sell them to a local dealer, a mere cog in a vast poaching network. Tragically, these animals were destined for a gruesome fate. Their scales, ripped from their bodies, would fuel a lucrative black market in China. But fate intervened. The keen nose of a police dog and the vigilance of customs officials intercepted the shipment, marking a historic moment. Their discovery was shocking. Not a few prized animals, but mountains of pangolin scales. These scales belonged to the world's most trafficked mammal, pushed to the brink of extinction despite legal protections. Every pangolin species is endangered, with some critically so. Even in China, consuming them is illegal. Yet, fueled by unsubstantiated claims of medicinal benefits, demand for pangolin scales continues to soar. This case wasn't just about stopping a single shipment, it exposed a global web of exploitation. The man's desperation, the dealer's greed, and the misguided belief in the scale's power all fueled a cycle threatening to wipe out an irreplaceable species. This discovery sparked a renewed fight against wildlife trafficking, with the brave dog and dedicated officials at the forefront. Their actions serve as a powerful reminder 
vigilance, education, and collaboration are crucial to protect these vulnerable creatures and the ecosystems they depend on. Pangolin scales remain in high demand, emboldening traffickers who openly bribe officials and flaunt their illicit activities. This has propelled pangolin syndicates to become some of the most powerful criminal groups in the region. Port officials faced an unprecedented discovery. 293 bags containing nearly 12 tons of pangolin scales, representing 20,000 to 30,000 slaughtered animals. This massive seizure exposed a potential extinction-level event and became a turning point in the investigation. The trail led towards a syndicate operating from Africa, where most pangolins originate, to China, where the primary market resides. While the operation spanned continents, the investigation revealed the true masterminds were based in China. The months-long pursuit was daunting. The syndicate, operating with impunity for years, had amassed enormous wealth. Despite the container alone being worth hundreds of thousands, it paled in comparison to the 30,000 lives lost. Limited resources and only fake names on shipping documents presented significant challenges, but hope rested on the crate's label. Specialized investigators traced the scales back to Africa, narrowing down the suspect pool. After meticulous analysis of documents and field visits, two key figures, he and Lee, emerged as prime suspects. The label breakthrough was a major win, leading investigators closer to safeguarding pangolins. However, Lee, a seasoned smuggler with an elusive past, vehemently denied any connection to the scales. Even incriminating photos on his phone, which he claimed was secondhand, couldn't faze him. Despite mounting evidence, Lee's alibi remained an obstacle to arrest. Without a direct link to the crime, they couldn't detain him. Yet, determined not to let him slip away, investigators meticulously scrutinized the photos. Luck struck. Lee's foot, with a unique mole, was visible in one image. Matching it to his actual foot provided the undeniable proof they needed. This footprint in the photo became his undoing, exposing him as the culprit. Justice in this case was a step ahead. Lee and his partnership unraveled like a cheap suit. Further investigation revealed their years of profitable deals, adding up to a shocking $758,000. Their shared flight to the source of the scales, Lee's shipping expertise, and his Chinese customer base painted a clear picture. But that was just the tip of the iceberg. Their arrests exposed a vast network of hundreds, a sprawling criminal puzzle waiting to be solved. Investigators, undeterred, set their sights on dismantling the entire operation, bringing every poacher to justice. This case became a stark reminder. Illegal wildlife trade thrives in the shadows, endangering countless species. But hope flickers amidst the darkness. China's strict new laws banning pangolin parts in medicine and elevating their protection offer a beacon of progress. The 17 individuals sentenced for smuggling 23 tons of scales in another case prove enforcement has teeth. Yet the fight is far from over. Collective action is key. We need stronger laws, stricter enforcement, and increased awareness to create a future where pangolins and all endangered species can thrive. Their survival depends on it.